What kind of response will Bobby Bowden get when his Seminoles run out onto the field on Saturday night? They will battle Georgia Tech. This is your preview brought to you by Tyson and Tizers. Glad to see you. I'm Lauren Shahadi, Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, joining us to talk about the matchup. Dennis, it all starts with Bowden, the head of Florida State trustees, calling for his job. Will his team rally around him? Well, I think they will. It, it, it's an, you know, no one's talking about football this week at Florida State. It's, a, it's an absolute mess. It's the worst possible scenario you can think of. A 79-year-old man now being evaluated week to week. The trustees chairman, as you mentioned, calling him out. Columnists now saying in, in the state of Florida he needs to go. And at the end of all that, you've got a process in place where Bobby Bowden would now coach through the 2010 season. I think they're going to give Jimbo Fisher, the coach in waiting, more power to assemble a staff so he can take over in 2011. But a lot of upheaval, upheaval at Florida State right now. A lot of off-the-field talk, but let's talk about football. Let's talk about what's going on on the field. And Jonathan Dwyer rushed for 145 yards, two touchdowns last year against Florida State. Will they give that struggling Seminoles defense a run? Yeah, I think they'll give him a run, but I, I think just because we talked about you're going to get the, the effort of the season from the Seminoles this year. I'm sorry, this week against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's coming off the game against Mississippi State where – Quarterback Josh Nesbitt threw for a career-high 266 yards. We thought we'd never see it. Um, and you're right. Uh, Dwyer did have a big game last year. But Bobby Bowden is 12-1 and against Georgia Tech in his career. That one loss was last year. So I, I fully suspect Florida State to come up huge in this game. You know, Dennis, all that preseason talk about Georgia Tech disappeared kind of when they lost to Miami. Are they as good as we thought they were preseason? I still think they're very good. I still think they're, they're good enough to win the ACC I think we saw in some of the early games how Nesbitt, the quarterback, was limited in his passing. But they worked on that uh, looking here against Mississippi State where he did throw for those 266 yards. If you can get them one-dimensional, like any team, it's no secret. If you can get them one-dimensional, you can beat them. But it's hard to get them one-dimensional because that option game works so good. What would it mean for Florida State to be 2-4 and four to start out the year? What's wrong there? Well, uh, obviously, it's, it's the bottom of the barrel. They're now last in the Atlantic Division right now. Uh, while Georgia Tech's in the Coastal Division, a, a division of the ACC with three ranked teams. So you know, we know they're off to their worst start since 1983, worst start ever in the ACC. I th you know, the thing with me is I, it's just going to be a passion play and a soap opera worked out every week. There, no, there are going to be other losses, we know that, um, and it's going to be on Bobby, and there's going to be speculation, and they've got to get something done so there is an exit strategy because right now there isn't. Georgia Tech, Florida State, 8 p.m. on Saturday. Be back here for the recap. Thanks for watching the preview brought to you by Tyson Anytizers. For Dennis Dodd, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon.